Are you listening? Damn. Because I'm so cool, motherfucker. Eat a dick. Mm. Trash Talk is brought to you again by Valhalla Combat Sports, Ink Shrinks Tattoo, and Mile High CBD Buds. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't completely forget. <laughs> no, that was just the intro. Yeah, they, yeah. Thought, they, they thought we were messing up, but that, that, that was just that was that, that just happened like that. Right, you know, because it's never going to be that live again. No, they, they, they <laughs> think it's going to be that live. Don't matter what microphone you on, you just got to whoop that trick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Oh my god, dude! That was uh, one of the funnest parts. Like, dude, watch it, rewatching that movie, uh, Hustle and Flow, fucking uh, that whole Mike scene and everything. Shit, like, dude, it makes so much more sense now because I remember watching that like uh, when it first came out, and I'm like, what click? He's just yeah. like, oh, he has to go pay that dude, give him some money to not play his music so he could turn it down so he could record the track. The dude's in a building, I mean, in a different house and everything, yeah. but it's like. I totally understand that now, dude. I totally yeah. understand the sound and being picked up and like. Yeah, I, I had to bring weed to my neighbor just yesterday <laughs> and ask them to turn the music down while we were recording. <laughs> that didn't you know? happen. I just want to mention that that didn't happen. Yeah, I know because you just like to. Yeah, you're one of those dudes. Like, uh, what, what's that Will Ferrell bit where uh, I think it was Will Ferrell where he's like, "Yeah, I just one day like." I just started running because my parents thought I was retarded and I ran so fast. I became a football star. Then I joined the army. He's like, are you, are you talking about Forrest Gump? He's like, <laughs> no, no, that's my life. I did that. <laughs> yeah. What well, movie like, is that? And he goes, uh, so any, anyways, uh, Brad Pitt's my best friend. He's like, yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Oh my god, I don't even know if I got the right actors, but you know, that's a funny bit, dude. I love that stuff. Like, you yeah. know, but like getting the 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 whole mic, the whole audio box, the then now the interface that I have now, the laptop and everything, just like growing everything, like from where it started, like literally a cell phone, and then it just became two laptops, and then now it, <laughs> now now we studio set up and shit and uh, portable studios. Like, I mean, dude, like this is. And it's been crazy because, like, the whole thing is, is, like, I didn't, like, really hide it or nothing, but uh, I was homeless when I started all this shit, dude. Yeah. And it's not like, like, I don't know. It's not like uh, like I'm looking for, like, credit or nothing or whatever, but it's like, dude, like, I, I get so sick of people telling me that they couldn't, like, start anything or get anything done or whatever. It's like, all right. I don't believe you. And now it's like, and it's not even because of uh, just trash talk. It's not the money that's coming in from trash talk. That's like got me an apartment now and got me my car and everything and stuff. It's the pursuit of trying to pursue money to, uh, uh, I, so I could have money to get better equipment for trash talk. And I was just going to continue trying to like mooch off of people. Like I had buddies, like a lot, a lot of good people around me letting me sleep on their couches and stuff, you know, let me m go from place to place. And then uh, I'm working at the time. So it's like every once in a while, I know I'm not trying to be a burden. So I just go get a hotel room for a week or whatever, you know, just trying to stay out of people's faces, not burn bridges too much or whatever. And then like, I, I don't know, I got, it's not like I got sick of it because I was always sick of it. Yeah. And, but like the pursuit of doing all this and the fact that I, Got all this other stuff done with like getting myself to my apartment and everything while still pursuing and getting all this better equipment and making the show better and everything and all that stuff happened all at the same time. Like, I don't, I don't accept nobody's bullshit no more, dude. I don't care. Like, yeah, yeah don't, don't, don't bullshit me. Like, somebody says, like, when the people that criticize the show or like say shit to us, like, oh, well, you should do this, you should do that. And then I always respond, I'm like, oh, yeah, you should do that on your show. It's like, well, I'd, I, I would never be able to do a show like that. I don't have the <laughs> motherfucker. I didn't have the equipment that I do. Yeah. If I waited around for the fucking equipment, the show would have never been fucking started and I never would have got the equipment. Yeah, no, this, this show was built together piece by piece. I mean, like, uh, for the analogy, is almost like a Legos. You know, you started off with one brick, and then it turns into two, and then it turns into three, and now you got something. And it's like, the thing is, is like, you got something, but there's a lot more pieces to add, and it's exactly. going to get a lot bigger, and it's going to get a lot better. So, I mean, they, they, they think it comes easy, and I, you know, I... 
I tip my hat to you because I know the work you do, you know, on that end, you know, obviously, I mean, at the end of the day, I, I plug in a lot and just kind of talk about a lot. Dude. You're the one on the front lines, you know, doing a lot of that stuff. Dude, uh, don't, 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 don't dismiss yourself. Don't dismiss yourself. You do, Always you do, do a, a hell of a lot for this motherfucking show. Like you, you come with the stats you're doing, like we both do our research and shit, but it's like, I'm like, where the fuck did you find that? Where'd you get that information? You'll send it to me. And I'm like, well, okay. Wow. You just blew my fucking mind. I had no idea. And then we asked them about it. It's like how that when the fighters react to you telling them the information that you do, that you know about them, it's like, hold on. I didn't know anybody knew that. I forget. Like they forgot about it. Yeah. And you bring back memories for them. So like you bring a lot to the show in a whole nother element, you know, that I'm like, I'm glad that uh, you were uh, are so willing to be a part of it and everything, you know, but like, yeah, like, uh, I don't know, like the whole, editing the videos like i i don't know i still f find it a little bit insulting granted like fuck everybody <laughs> you know but at the same time like it's still a little bit insulting like when people still even after all this time like downplay like yeah dude i edit this shit i like i'm not trying to like i don't know like shoot my own horn or like try to like oh i need so, so much fucking recognition or nothing like that you know it's like it's not that it's just like don't why do you got why do you gotta ask it or make it come across like so insultingly like oh you really did this it's like yeah like oh i said i did and so, <laughs> like, it's like yeah but i didn't really know that you do all that like by yourself like yeah dude who the fuck else is gonna do it like you thought i hired somebody to fucking do this dude i'm fucking homeless who's gonna edit my videos for me who's gonna do all this shit? like what, what what the fuck do you mean like think about it like logically and stuff and like that's the thing that like that that comes across like insulting and like the whole understanding like psychology understanding how to interview uh how to give better interviews and things like that uh how to uh focus on uh editing videos how to focus on like these highlights these highlighted intros and stuff like dude you guys i don't know if people know how much time i did when i was doing that previously and then for reasons i had to stop and then now those reasons is gone, bitch. I'm doing it again. You know, highlighted intros for all the fighters on Trash Talk now. So, but that, that takes a lot of time. How many, how many that I watch on those highlights a lot of the times? Like, it's, you know, like this is time and dedication and hard work, and no one's going to do that for you or especially for free. And yeah. I don't got the money to do it. And there's no substitute for putting in that shit, you know? And it's like, so any of the success that we get from tra like for trash talk or whatever, it's like, it's completely earned. You work your ass off and oh, yeah. I, well, dude, I want to say like, I work my ass off, but this ain't fucking work. Like I love oh. editing videos. I love yeah. doing this shit. Like this is the shit. Like, Oh my fucking God. It's like, yeah. and, and, and I'm sorry, TJ, I'm, I'm ranting right now. Like, but I'm yeah. like, what, what, what's the, what, what, what I heard uh, Joe Rogan uh, talking about this one time where, uh, how many views do you need to have? to keep doing it what what's the level of success like what what's the number in your head like how many do you got to have and where do you even get off setting the bar at where you're setting it and who are you basing it off of who are you comparing yourself to why are you comparing yourself to anybody anyway if you're doing it and you're doing it because you actually love to do it and the passion's there then you will do it and you you don't need all like a certain amount of views or like oh well if we don't get this then we're probably gonna have to stop or whatever the fuck like dude i was literally fucking homeless when i started this shit i could do this homeless like for real because i did it already so i know like when i got money and i can get it done even easier then i know it's gonna continue to get done but it ain't never gonna fucking stop now if that's one view if that's if I only, if it's only me and you watching the fucking show, dude, like it's not gonna stop. Like I'm, I love, dude. All it would be is, uh, it's, let's say uh, we weren't doing the show, we would be doing the show anyway. There would just not be any cameras. Yeah. This is what we always talk, always talk, <coughs> about, always done, dude. This is, yeah. This is it. And then I, I think that reflects in our interviews too. Like why we kind of get like a little bit sidetracked and off uh, topic with a lot of the fighters because we actually listen to their answers because we care what they got to say. And we're like, I want, I want to get to know these fight, my favorite fighters. You know, all of the fight, like the local guys are the favorite guys. Like when people talk about big fights and stuff, you know, I like granted, okay, I'm going to watch the baddest motherfucker on the planet belt that's going down this weekend, you know, uh, fucking all rights received to the fucking uh, baddest motherfuckers in the game right now, you know, uh, but 
l- let's be honest. Like, I miss out on a lot of these UFC cards. One, I'm either at the fights or I'm just busy talking to fighters. Like, I don't know how many times there's been fights going on while we're doing interviews. And it's like, well, fuck it. I don't care about those. These are the guys that I care about. These are the guys that I care about. And hopefully spark an interest in the, the same interest that you and I have in these local fighters into everyone else that lives on the local scene because – they're oh dude like it, if they were if they were as as wrapped up into it as they were uh this uh the, Nick Diaz and Jorge Masvidal fight dude they 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 have no idea how much how much they would want to be wrapped up into it until they're being exposed to it and that's why we do what we do and because that that's the goal like it it just it it I I think it speaks for itself the product speaks for itself dude like yeah no like like you said the key thing that <clears throat> You picked up there because, like you said, you fucking ranted. I mean, I mean, I, I'm sitting here. You know, this is a conversation. I'm, it, I'm sorry, but oh no, that's what I'm saying though. Is this isn't work? I go to work. I go sit in an office. I crunch numbers and do shit. That I'm like, I'm excited to come home and do this. You know, I go in there. I hang out with my boy. Hang out with my gal. Have a good time. Eat some dinner. Have a good night. Tuck everybody in. And then I'm in the garage, and, and I'm talking with you. I'm talking with the guys that I want to talk to. I mean, like you said, the, these are the guys that I want to get to know because I'm a fan of the sport. Like it, I try to tell everybody, especially the guy, people in Minnesota, like you know, obviously where the, where this is being seen. But if, if you're a fan of fighting, why are you not watching these local fights? The, these fights, these guys. I mean, they're they're giving it their all, and they're going to be at that level. And you're gonna you're gonna be like, oh, I followed that guy. You you you, yeah, you don't want to be the guy that's like, oh, he's from Minnesota. Well, yeah like nah like this motherfucker's a bad motherfucker you know what i mean and that's the thing is when it comes in you talk about the baddest motherfucker fight nate diaz jorge masvidal i couldn't be more excited and and guys will go oh well man I, i i wish something like that happened in minnesota something like that is happening in minnesota ladies and gentlemen november 15th Sam Hernandez versus Angel Pacheco. That's the baddest motherfucker oh, in Minnesota, Belt. I mean, like, it, it, if that's not the baddest motherfucker in Minnesota, and we're following the same category, same things, those Ooh. two would step up and fight everybody and anybody that's ever put on a pair of gloves at their weight class at that time. They And they beat them all. Ooh. And if they didn't beat them all, it was a close fight. And you know what I mean? And they fucking go, go, go. And th- that's the same fight, and it's happening in two weeks. And if you're not there, then don't tell me how you won't oh, care about the bass motherfucker because you don't care about the bass motherfucker because those two find out dude all right all right now though the though okay though that fight is the fucking fight right now dude i swear to fucking god i can i couldn't agree with you anymore now this is completely off topic like i just i just wanted to acknowledge the fact that i heard you but uh I, i'm changing the subject how much money have you gotten paid uh, for working with trash talk, um, that number I, I don't know if you're in a, I don't know if you know much about how much accounting, money how much money it starts spent? with a parentheses and ends with a parenthesis. <laughs> I don't know if you know what that means, but it, it means it has a little little dash in front of it. Yeah, but it, it, this isn't about the money. It, it, the, the best mo- thing. I okay, have, I, I got a follow up question. I'm sorry, I, I'm not trying to cut you off. You just did how- for the fifth time. There will not yeah. be a foot six. <laughs> As you mean the thirtieth, sixth, Denzel. <laughs> but uh, excuse me. But how much money have you spent working for Trash Talk? I mean, I, I don't know if you guys know this, but flights to Minnesota ain't cheap. Uh, you know, stuff like that, it ain't cheap. There's been a lot of money that's gone into Trash Talk, but like I said, I, I, every dollar that's been spent's been well worth it. Uh, you know, I, I have to justify it with my accountant, you know, the gal, <laughs> but uh, what, 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 once it passes through and gets approved, we're coming quick. Exactly. But, th- but that's the thing. Okay. And I think that that speaks on the passion that we both have for this is like yeah. the, the shirts, dude, I've, I, there's been times where I've, uh, I was about to make money on the shirts and then I gave out the last ones for free, so I ended up either either losing or breaking even. And then the last few times, I like I literally completely took losses. Like I I just <coughs> I'm, like I'm trying to get all this stuff out there for these people, you know. And then the money uh, that I'm getting from the sponsors is literally going to better equipment, the trophies that we're getting made for the fighters, belts, 
Um, dude, we got and we got other things planned and stuff that's coming out, but like all of this stuff, like there is they th- this is what I was just trying to explain a second ago. It's like w- w- how much do you need to get back to keep doing it? Because so far all we've done is put in. And Man. the satisfaction is all we're getting out, and that's enough because this is this is what we fucking love to do. This is like, oh my god, it, it just. It, I, I mean, and then the thing is too is like, um, eventually, hopefully, it land. I mean, it leads to us making some big money, yeah. or or we can land a, a side gig because we're doing this. We're still not making any money off of this, but somebody else hires us to do something else because we're doing this. And we get paid off of that. And then ultimately I use all of that money to support my trash talk, you know, and like hopefully all that stuff happens, you know, but like at the end of the day, if none of it happens, I I still don't see myself stopping doing this, you know, like, and then, sorry, I'm going to cut you off this time because I'm due for it. Yeah. But, uh, you know, you, you say, you know, what's the satisfaction? What's it take? And it's not, I mean, as much as it truly is about views, and as much as, like you said, making money, hey, who, who's turning that down? That'd be cool. Yeah. What I truly enjoy about this, nothing more, is when we get to talk to these guys and they get to find out that, you know, that we really do care. You know, this isn't a facade. I mean, and you see it in our interviews, I feel like. You know, a lot of guys, especially maybe if it's their first time talking to us at first, they're they're kind of, you know, they're, they're sizing us up. Hey, we're all fighters. That's what we do. We size people up. Yeah. And then by the end of it, they, they see the intention. And the satisfaction I get out of it, man, is when we post a video and we get to see a, a fighter's reaction to it. Or we, when I post the rankings and I get to see the fighter's reactions to it. That, that, that's really what, what, what you yeah. know, makes me want to keep doing this. And then I the least. fact that. It's me and you doing it. Like you said, we did this for so for so long. I mean, you were doing trash talk for so long. And we literally had a camp and we had a, we were having a conversation. Was it back in like February? And you were like, dude, we literally do this anyways. Why don't we just get on camera and just do this with me? And I'm like, why not? And I feel like, I feel like it's working. Honestly, I think you, you finally grew some balls. You manned up. And I think you helped me out a lot with doing this, you know? And and crap, I, f- I forgot what I was going to say a second ago, but it was Co- it was cojones. No, it was along the lines of what you were just saying. It was just like we're like what what's the the amount of money, the amount of likes and stuff you know, like I, we we do this anyway. So now it's all all that changed was that we're recording ourselves doing it and we're will, willing to display it to the masses, you know, or whatever the masses will be whatever you know (laughs) however many people you know so we're just willing to display it now but one of the best feelings that i've gotten ever out of doing this and this alone is like it's one of those feelings that i want to fucking chase because it just feels so good when a mom or a dad comes up to me and shakes my hand or gives me a hug and wants to buy me a beer because their son or daughter just got a, an interview and they're so proud of their son and daughter, whether they won or lost the fight. Like it's just recognition and the recognition that like yeah. people are deserving. Like we all want that recognition. We all want to be recognized yeah. for something that we're doing, you know, like it feels good, you know? Yeah. So like, and especially when it's like a kid or I mean, son or daughter, cause we're not kids anymore, you know, yeah, but uh, th- yeah, son or daughters or whatever getting, recognition from their parents and most of the time parents are telling their kids not to do this and now you finally like and to have that shown to me or me see it firsthand too like dude that shit feels amazing you know and it's like and all i'm doing is what i love to fucking do (laughs) yeah yeah no when uh and it's kind of on the same boat, uh, you know, like when we post an interview and, and you'll see their family members or people that you can assume are close with them and their comments, you know, hey, keep it up, keep it up. And it's just like you said, that, that type of stuff, you know, I, I like that stuff because I'm like, you know what? Fuck, yeah, keep it up. Like, like I, I enjoy that. Oh, yeah. And like you said, because everybody wants to be told they're doing a good job. And, you know, that's what we want to do at Trash Talk. We want to talk to people and let them know, like, hey, we see you. And, you know, yeah. and, you know. If your hard work matters, goes so. it, it's it's your hard work is not unrecognized that's what mm-hmm. we do we recognize it we've been recognizing it for a long time and 
everybody else needs to pay recognition too. Yeah, because it, it, it's like, I mean, I don't even know how else to word it. Like that, that's right. It's like we're I I yeah I, I, yeah ah uh, like that's the best way to say it. Yeah, I love this shit. If you don't speak passion, you will not understand what we're talking about right now. Yeah. <laughs> It's like th- th- this is something that I-, I truly enjoy, and it's like it doesn't matter if, me- like you said, if me and you, if we put the video out and there's two views, and I know you watched it and I watched it, that's enough because we're putting it out there, and and wh- it-, it might be it might be a one day where it catches a dry wind and all of a sudden a fire goes and everybody's going to see it, but then you know as long as everybody knows these guys' names, that that's oh, yeah. that's what it's all about. Hell yeah, dude. You know what I just realized is like, I, I think we were supposed to film answering a fan question. I don't know if we even did that. I think we just started talking. It just became this. Um, I way I can describe this video, the way I can describe this is if the fans want to know, what it's like when me and you just sit here and that little red light isn't on. This is it. I mean, like, I honestly forgot we were even recording for a little bit there. Like, um, times we're like I, I know it because like I know we're recording. And then I'd like, we just get back in the car. I'm just talking to TJ. And if people are listening, they are, you know, dude, I, I'm sorry. I interrupted you again. <laughs> I, I, I explained there would not yeah. be another time, but, sir. Yeah. This, sir, this is the end of my. This is the end of my time. You have a great day. Don't leave I'm me. Just kidding. kidding. Don't leave just me. Kidding. I need <laughs> you. I need you. Lord, <laughs> Pimp Squad, hold it down. <laughs> oh my God, dude. Oh, dude. No one's gonna understand that reference. That's like an inside joke right now. But like, we're gonna. I'm gonna share that video on Trash Talk, and everybody's gonna. Please understand. do. Please do because, and and I really hope. That they're not legally blind and they can watch it. <laughs> I'm glad I swallowed my beer before you fucking said. It. Oh my god! All right, but all right. I, think I love you, Mom. I love you, Pim Squad, baby. P-O-T, like, hold it down. And subscribe, like, and subscribe. Trash talk with Damien and TJ. I just think that that's a really good point to wrap it up on. And deuces, America, in Ireland. And, and Ecuador. And, uh, I mean, realistically, the rest of the world, too, if you're watching, shout out. But mainly yeah, but three make places. Yourself, yeah, make yourselves known so we know you're watching because those are locations that we, I, I know for a fact we're getting views from because they share our shit and they respond to us and they like it and they comment. Oh, my God, you should, too, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to cut it. <laughs> Are you listening? Damn.